Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Amazon QuickSight Learning Series, a session on the art of what's possible using generative BI in Amazon QuickSight. Today we're going to be focusing on two capabilities, one being executive summaries and the second being data stories using Amazon Q in QuickSight. For today's session, we'll be answering questions in our QuickSight community. You can go ahead and go to our QuickSight community using the QR code below, go to question and answer, and type in your new question. First, you'll type in a subject line about the question, so here I'm typing in an example. Then you'll press two tags, one being what persona you identify with that your question pertains to, and the second will be today's QLS tag, which is hashtag QLS hyphen GenBI demo. Then in the text box, you'll type in your specific question that pertains to today's session. And then lastly, you'll just go ahead and press add new question, which will populate your question into our forum. Here's where our solution architects will come to answer your questions after today's session. Okay, now let's get into today's session talking about the art of what's possible using generative BI with Amazon Q and QuickSight, specifically with the executive summary and data stories features that we have launched in public preview. In one of our previous sessions, we focused on learning how to use QuickSight's new generative BI features to create a dashboard with Amazon Q. If you haven't seen it yet, you can do so with the link in the description. Today, we're going to continue this demo to show how these features can be used by business users. Today, we'll showcase a demo on how a manager with no business intelligence related technical experience can use generative BI to gather insights from a QuickSight dashboard. We have Jill Florent joining us today, Principal Customer Success Manager at QuickSight to co-lead this session. Together, we're going to show you the art of what's possible using the new generative BI features of Amazon Q in QuickSight. So hi, I'm Maddie. I'll be continuing the role of a marketing analyst for Impacta. And hi, I'm Jill. I'll be playing a manager at Impacta, leading the sales and business development team. So as a reminder from our previous session, Impacta is a marketing consulting firm with three big accounts, Bookish, FarmFresh, and Shopazon. Our senior BI architect, Priya, led me through easily authoring a QuickSight dashboard with generative BI. Now I want to show my manager, Jill, the new capabilities released for business users to accurately pull insights quickly, and it's going to save her time and energy while also allowing her to make impactful presentations for client-facing meetings. And this is the perfect time to show Jill these new features as Impacta has a potential client that we're trying to convince to become their go-to marketing consulting partner. Jill has an upcoming meeting with a client called Fabulux and needs references of Impacta's previous projects to pitch in a slide deck. Hi, Maddie. Thanks so much for setting up this meeting. I heard there were some new capabilities you wanted to show me. Yeah, um, Amazon QuickSight has just released these awesome new generative BI features with Amazon Q. Priya showed me some of them, which is how I built our client dashboard that you requested. Yes, it looks amazing. Thanks so much for doing that. I know it was last minute. Yeah, of course. I actually wanted to show you some more generative BI features that just came out. I think this is the perfect time to do so since you have that upcoming meeting with the fashion retailer Fabulux. With these new features, you can pull direct insights from our dashboard and have Amazon Q make a presentation with our data. Sounds interesting, but I don't have a lot of time today. How long is it going to take? Um, so I actually just tested it out and it's only took me a few minutes. Wow, really? Okay, well, that sounds perfect then. Uh, can we do it in less than 30 minutes? I do have another meeting to get to. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you already have the dashboard, which I shared with you. So let's start there. Okay, and the first thing you are going to want to do is just search Impacta in that top search bar. Yep, and our dashboard should pop up. Great, I see it right here, and let's just take a sec for the dashboard to load. And uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, great. Um, so our amazing BI engineer helped on the back end with uploading this data set, and she created a queue topic, which I used to make this dashboard. So now it's fully prepared to pull meaningful insights. Um, and it's really nice because these generative features helped her get the data prepared faster and be able to hand it off for me to me for easy analysis building. So now she has more time to work on her other projects. Nice. All right. So now if you go ahead and click on the top right corner, you're able to see the executive summary of the dashboard. And this will essentially summarize all of our visuals in the dashboard and pull out the most significant insights for you. Isn't that nice? 
Cool. Um, let's see what it has. Oh, wow. There's some interesting insights here. I can see that it's showing me impressions, reach, clicks, and spend for video and photo ads. I like that it tells me it's segmented by campaign, account, order, and ad name. Oh, and I also see here that we tripled our impressions from Q4 of 22 to Q1 of 23. That's great. Are we sure these are accurate? Yes. Yeah, so um, if you ever want to check, you can actually hover over the insight that you're interested in, and it will show you directly where in the dashboard that that data is coming from. It's super convenient. Yeah, like that. Nice. This is a great data point for us. And, you know, thinking about our company's strategic plan last year, we definitely helped our clients by building out our creative branch. They really helped connect the campaign visions of each of our clients. And, you know, they really created a bunch of successful marketing ads. So now I want to kind of dive deeper on uncovering some more insights. Maybe, maybe we could find out what caused this growth and see if we can pull some good data points to pitch in the client meeting. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, Priya also showed me that you can dive deeper by asking Amazon Q questions in the top bar of our dashboard. So you can try asking a question related to the changes between Q4 and Q1 and see what insights get pulled up. I also just want to show you first how you can save your executive summary. So you can go ahead and copy your executive summary to your clipboard, and then you'll be able to paste it in your notes somewhere. Yep, so you just click copy, and then it'll just save it to your computer. Super convenient, thank you. Yeah, of course. And so now go ahead and enter that bar, and then we can start asking questions into Q. So right here? Yeah, um, and if you see those questions below, Q actually pulls up suggested questions based on generative AI and your data set. You don't have to use them, but it's nice to know that you have the option to. Great. Let's try change in impressions from Q4 22 to Q1 2023. Yeah, that sounds like a good question. Um, Q should load up an answer soon. Sometimes it just takes a few seconds. Oh, nice. And here I can see that this is giving me data from the correct fields in our data set. Mm -hmm. Whoa, this is providing me a lot more than I expected. Yeah, right? It's really cool. And if you go ahead and look on the left side, um, similar to the executive summary, Q provides a narrative of the data that it provides. So it overviews what data you're seeing um, in the answer, and it also pulls out some insights that you may have missed. It also lets you see what visual each insight comes from. Oh, great. I really like that it's telling me which ad had the highest impressions during that period. That's something I wouldn't have known necessarily from the first dashboard. And I also like how I can see how many impressions we increased by with a nice spark line and the total impressions. Yeah, and um, Jill, if you think that insight is important for your presentation, you can actually go ahead and pin them to your pin board. It's a personalized section for you to pin visuals and insights that you find interesting. So, yep, if you go ahead and click that right there, um, it should show up in your pin board. Found it. Yeah, nice. I definitely think this would be a great testimonial to include. Thank you. Yeah, I totally agree. And no problem. This insight really helps conceptualize that our ad spending is making an impact on a large scale. Great. Now let's dive deeper into that ad. I want to compare the spending we allocated between two of the customers to see if that's the reason why there were more impressions. So maybe we can ask um, ad spend for Bookish and Shopazon for each ad from Q4 2022 to Q1 2023. Oops, looks like I missed the B in Bookish. Let's try that again and see what Amazon Q provides. Yeah, no problem. Um, that's okay. It'll just load up something. And then once you're able to, you can go ahead and add the B and it should load up the correct answer. Ah, interesting. Uh, I want to call out that um, I really like how this is giving me data in different visuals. It helps me mm -hmm. see kind of the whole picture when I'm asking my question. Yeah. So like, I really like this bar chart here, this horizontal bar chart. 
and I can see that the waterproof ad cost less than three of the other ads, but still gained the highest number of impressions, which is great. I'm going to pin that as well and use it in comparison with the previous chart. Sounds good. And I like that there's a chart at the bottom that gives more details on my data. So uh, I think I'll pin this one too. Yeah, that one will be good to have just a, as a reference point. Nice. Okay. Um, so I think this will really help support our value proposition to Fabulux. And now I think for this client, it would also be useful to have data on the other performance metrics we have. Um, so we can try asking Q something on this. Yes, definitely. You know what? I think um, I think I've got this and can keep pulling these insights on my own. Do you want to go ahead and you can jump to your next meeting? I'll do a little bit more and. Um, I think this is good. Okay, that's great, Jill. Um, thanks, and ping me when you're ready to build your presentation. I wanna show you the new data stories features on QuickSight. Will do. Okay, I have everything I need to create the presentation. Okay, great. So let's begin building a story on this data. Do you know exactly what stance we wanna take? So based on the insights I've pulled, I want to highlight our positioning in impressions and reach for our previous clients. And I want that to be by photo and video ads. Okay, um, that sounds good. I think this story is going to work perfectly for your meeting. So if you go ahead and you just press on the top right corner of the dashboard, you can get started on building a data story. Yep, and then you can pick between a scrollable page or a slideshow. Okay, let's do slideshow. Okay, so now if you see the bottom right corner, you can go ahead and enter a description of the type of presentation you want to build. Amazon Q will help you build with natural language. Cool, okay, I wanna write a client sales pitch to show the growth of impressions and reach for each type of ad format. Okay, yeah, that sounds really good. And then now before we build the story, we just need to add some visuals from our dashboard so if you go ahead and press add visuals, you can pick which visuals you wanna add. Cool, I like this bar chart and let's do the spending pie chart. Sounds and, good. And I like this impressions graph, the same one for, uh, do we have one for reach? Yeah, let's do reach and um, let's, let's do the, uh, oh yeah. Let's do the two horizontal bar charts for each ad format. And is there anything else? I, I think I'm all set. Okay, cool. So now you can just press add. Yep. And then you just press build to build your story and you'll see what Amazon Q provides. Um, and just so you know, if you aren't set on the story that it built for you, you can always discard it and try again with another description or you can just try again and see what else it generates. It shows up in that box on the right bottom corner of the screen. Got it, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. Let's look through this. Okay, this seems like a good framework for me to begin. Can I fine tune the details a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Um, so you're able to fine tune the details and before you do that though, let's go ahead and choose a theme on the right pane of the screen and you can pick the story style that you want. Okay, let's do this one here, modern. Oh, and I can pick the speed of transitions, nice. Wow, I like this title, leveraging data to drive growth. A look at targeted ad performance. Let me quickly just add my name to the uh, title. And I know I want to make some editing changes. Let's start with that. Okay, speaking of, Amazon Q can help with that. Um, so if you just want to go through, you can go ahead and begin editing. So let's start with this one here. I'm just going to quickly change this title so it's more representative of the visual, and I'm going to double check that the generated text matches the insights. That looks good, but I think I'd like to make some more edits. I want to customize further to Impacta and Fabulux's potential relationship. I know they're focused on building brand awareness and reach. So I'm going to highlight that. Yeah, that sounds good. 
And now I kind of want to separate some of the paragraph and make them bullet points instead. Let me finish this and uh yeah so q can also help with that as well highlight the part of the text where you want to change to bullet points and it'll generate some bullet points for you oh nice this looks good let's move on to the next one hmm. by scrolling through i'm looking at this conclusion looks a little short so can we lengthen this yeah so just by what you're doing now you can highlight and make it longer um, and you just click that same editor oh and, nice yeah it pulls up a really long text and you're able to also edit this as well um, to kind of customize it to your words and your language okay wow this initially looks much longer let me read it to see if i want to make any additional edits um gosh i, I really like how this gave me such a good starting point um very cool I'll separate this paragraph and take this last sentence out. Okay, Maddie, I'm super impressed with this. Let me see if there's anywhere else I'd like to make edits. Okay. Yeah, this is a good area to change. Um, I think this section is too long for this slide. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can make it a little shorter. Yeah, so just by clicking on the highlighted text, you can go ahead and make it shorter. And then if you just press keep, yep. Great. And I also want to probably make some bullet points. Okay, so, sounds good. All right. And I have, I have some great testimonies to share in the meeting with the client after each bullet point, but this keeps the slide nice and concise. Okay, I think I'm done editing this first pass. Yeah, wow. Um, that was so fast, Jill. Let's check out the story. Um, so this is the preview that we're seeing right now. And it looks pretty good for a first version. I can't believe it. it's for just a few minutes. This is really good. Um, I'll spend a bit more time just uh, kind of generating my edits and formatting it to make sure it fits with our branding. Yeah, that sounds yeah. good. This is a, a really good start. Gosh, I love how easy this was. And it's such a, you know, it's, it's such a time saver from trying to pull together the data and figure out what text to put in. Um, to be honest, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of writing, so just getting off that blank page to get started was uh, <laughs> really helpful. Yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. And I'm going to catch you later. I really hope the pitch goes well. Thank you so much. And uh, for everyone watching, the executive summary and data stories features in Amazon QuickSight are now in public preview. Yep. And thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you found these new features empowering and super exciting. Um, please ask any of your lingering questions about today's topic in our QuickSight community, as we're excited to answer any questions you have. Thank you.